Next on our pilgrim walk is the Way of the Cross. It is important to understand that every triumph and victory is surrounded by the Way of the Cross. In a wooded area at the back of the property are the 14 stations of the cross, which evoke different moments of the Passion of Jesus and can give meaning to our trials, sufferings, and failures. Those who recite the stations will find solace and healing. After each station, say, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Let us pray. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus, many who witnessed your miracles agreed on your death sentence. Have mercy on those who witness the miracles at this site, but still refuse to believe. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. You accepted this cross out of love for your Father's divine will and love of me. Help me to accept the crosses I am given for love of you. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. Jesus, I offer to the Father this first fall. I ask the Father to help me never to fall into mortal sin. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Jesus, I join you now in this present moment in consoling the sorrowful heart of your mother. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The fifth station, Simon unwillingly helps Jesus carry his cross. Jesus, help me to accept the crosses you send with love. Help me always to be a willing instrument in your hands. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Through love of you, help me to wipe out all my sinful inclinations, Jesus. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus, do not let me repeat my sins. Keep me from falling. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women in Jerusalem. Console me, Jesus, so that I do not become discouraged by my sinful inclinations. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. Jesus, help me to rise above my sins and to pursue personal holiness. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Jesus, strip me of all that stands between us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus, the nails pierced your flesh, just as my sins pierced your heart. 
forgive me. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. You stayed on the cross until death, dear Jesus. It was not the nails that held you there, but love of your Father's will. Help me to love God's will for me, no matter the cost. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Jesus, your sorrowful mother, held you in her arms. I ask your sorrowing mother now to forgive me for any sins I committed that you died for. I ask Mary to present my contrite heart to her son. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the sepulcher. Lovingly, your mother prepared your broken body for the tomb, Jesus. Ask your mother to lovingly prepare my heart, torn by sin, to receive you in Holy Communion. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Most compassionate, united hearts of the Most Holy Trinity and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Accept this, my prayer, on behalf of the heart of the world. Awaken the heart of the world to the truth of the difference between good and evil. Inspire each soul to consecrate their hearts and their lives to the united hearts, thereby strengthening the heart of the world in this resolve. We beg you, dear united hearts, Pour the grace of your inspiration into the heart of the world, strengthening it in truth and in holy love. In this heavenly inspiration, draw the heart of the world into union with the will of God. Amen. We hope that one day we will welcome you here in person. The United Hearts invite you to come with open hearts and see.